Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys for more Atlanta Falcons content, bro. This is the Atlanta Falcons content, and this is Falcons fans coming, all right? This is something that I just, I, I think this is probably one of my favorite segments of of the, on the channel, man, because I get to see you guys, you guys get to see your comments, all right? Read by yours truly, your boy, man, Mike, man, Mike Sports, man. Also, Strictly Prohibited Network. This is something that I got. I'm debuting the show, Red Cup Rants on Matt Mike Sports, Tuesday, 8 o'clock. So if you guys stay tuned for that, man, I have all topics all around the all pretty much all around sports baseball football basketball you know like ufc everything we talk about every freaking thing even things that you know that isn't really sports related we get to world topics we we talk about every damn thing on red cup rants all right so you guys can check that out but this one is charleston nash at mac mike what do you what would be your plan for the draft position wise um i was never a component and i will never be one that pretty much stays that we have to have a top three pick because we want to get chase young we want to get Derek brown we want to get this person and we want to get that person i've said this over and over and over again a lot of fans do not agree with this whatsoever we have to get we have to get a chase young and i've always stated this we don't know if Chase Young is gonna is gonna be a mega star. We have a pretty good idea that he's a good he's a damn good player in college, but would he translate to the NFL? I've seen several players we thought was gonna be great, legendary, and one of these guys are playing right now. He just got traded to the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. Falcons fans were clamoring to bring him to Atlanta too for first round pick. Yeah, Jadavion Clowney. Now, Jadavion Clowney has had a pretty good career, but when you look at it, man, the injuries, him being traded away from a team because they didn't think he was going to be worth that money. Look, bro, I'm not one of those guys, and I'm not saying that Chase Young is going to be a bust. But when you lose on purpose, when you commit to tanking, this sends a bad message to the fans. This sends a bad message to the players and the front office that these guys don't want to win. Everybody wants to win championships. There's no one who is a fan. There's no one who's a player or in the front office that doesn't want to win championships. So losing on my end, man, on purpose? On purpose, though? Nah, I can't see it. I can't see any player in the NFL, you know, whether they front office, you know, or person or the personnel. I can't see these guys wanting to lose on purpose, man. A lot of things, one thing that a lot of Falcons fans need to understand that nothing is guaranteed for these players. There's no guarantee that these guys are going to get another shot at being a starter. They get another shot at being on the NFL team. We saw what happened to the AF. Yeah, it was here and it was gone. This is the opportunity that these players have. So these players are not going to lose on purpose. They're here to get their money and they're going to play hard. So draft position-wise for the Atlanta Falcons, man, um, I always thought that somewhere in the middle of the pack, you know, from 10 to 15 is an excellent place for the Atlanta Falcons. Never want to be top five, in my opinion, because that pretty much states that your team absolutely sucks. All right, so I don't think the Atlanta Falcons, um, that's good for the Atlanta Falcons in a number of ways. One, just Dan Quinn. You know, I still think Dan Quinn is a pretty good coach. Um, what not it's still up in the air as far as him being uh the atlanta falcons head coach for next season will he be fired i'm not sure um thomas dimitrov as well but like i said man I, i'm just not a component for one of these guys that say you know that that's that's just let's lose on purpose i just can't see it so Draft position wise, that doesn't even matter, man. Um, as long as some somewhere in the middle of the pack 
from 10 to 15 in my opinion but that's my opinion um the next one man um <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite man <laughs> uh, i kind of couldn't name off because i don't want to give that type of um clout man look Look, I get these kind of type of comments all the time, but my thoughts are you need to stop drinking cheap liquor because you must be drunk if you think Vic Beasley can play ball. You have lost your mind. And even people have lost, even people have liked this comment. All right, it, it's, it's fine. But stats say otherwise, okay? You guys are always saying that we need to get touchdowns. We need to score points. We need to get sacks. We need to get interceptions. And as soon as the players started to do exactly that, you guys still want to say that Vic Beasley sucks. Vic Beasley is leading the team in sacks. You hear me? Let me repeat that. Vic Beasley is leading the team in sacks. All right? It's not Tech. It's not Grady. It's Victor Beasley. Okay? The guy that everyone wants to run out of town. The guy that is, you said, suck and he needs to... He needs to go to the you know Chuck Smith School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Uh, <laughs> wizardry. Look, man, Vic Beasley is a damn good player, and we've said this, and I've said this over and over again. The Falcons have yet to maximize his ability. Facts: the Falcons have yet to put him in the position where he will succeed. He went back to 2016 and see what they did with Vic Beasley. Use him as a third four outside linebacker in coverage. Uh, because your boy Devondre Campbell is not very good in coverage. So the Falcons have made some they made some adjustments. Obrick and uh, Obrick has made some pretty good adjustments with Vic Beasley using him in early downs. Um, even resting him in early downs. Um Using him in early downs in coverage to keep Devondre Campbell out of coverage. And it's, it's pretty much translated well for the Atlanta Falcons defense. So when you look at it, man, you guys can hate Vic Beasley all you want. But this guy is absolutely doing his thing, man. And look, you can hate all you want to. But the dude is still leading the team in sacks right now. That's all that matters. Pressures, sacks. You know, he's doing a number of things as far as coverage. Coverage. And spying guy, spying and look, man, this dude is just—he's he, doing his thing. So you can't hate on that, man. Um, Kevin Sexton, I know people uh, say you shouldn't waste a draft pick on a kicker, but do you think we should draft the best college kicker available in the seventh round, Rodrigo Bank Blankenship? Um, one, I just got to give a shout out to uh, Young Way Coop. All right, Young Way Coop, I got to give him a shout out, man. Your boy has been doing this. Thing. Um, he's pretty much solidified that uh, kicker spot for my liking. So I expect the Falcons to bring back Cool um, as the kicker. But I would not, I would not, you know, be against bringing in Rodrigo Blankenship um, to compete for that kicking spot. It's all about competition, bro. Like, it's all about competition. And if you're not competing, what the hell are you doing? So I'm absolutely with bringing Rodrigo Blankenship uh what seven round pick I mean that's nothing man that's nothing so take a shot no problem Muhammad <clears throat> I got a question for you do you think Edo Smith will be long term and Devontae Freeman or Brian Hill also yeah I can't read dog <laughs> I can't read but also Devontae Freeman or Brian Hill um <sighs> this is something that probably be will probably be controversial for some i just don't believe in edo smith man we've already seen the issues that Devontae freeman has had as far as him being a a running back that can't stay healthy we've seen this you're paying him what nine million dollars next year if you retain him, yeah, can't see that. I can't see the Falcons bringing back Devontae Freeman uh, because of his injury issues. And I damn sure can't see that the Falcons would commit to bringing, you know, uh, to just having Edo Smith. I just, look, man, once running backs have shown that they are injury prone, 
I'm one to believe that you should just get rid of them. All right, just get rid of them. Even if it's Devontae Freeman, the guy that I absolutely love. It's free is a likable guy. All right, he's a likable guy, and to be honest, man, it, it it's gonna be tough to see him gone. But you got to do it, bro. I don't see Edo Smith as a long term. Um, Devontae Freeman, I do not see him as a long term. Um, I don't see him with the Atlanta Falcons uh, for the next two uh, two years or so um, because of the injury issues. Also, with the cap, uh, Brian Hill. Um, I think the Falcons can bring a, bring him back on a lesser deal, uh, a couple of uh, million dollars to kind of be the backup uh, running back or, you know, contend for that number one spot, man. You just never know what Brian Hill can do when you have an offensive coordinator who commits to the run. One, Dirk Cutter commits to the run. And you have an offensive line that's beginning to jail with Chris Lindstrom and uh, Caleb McGarry, these guys are finally starting to get it. So um, I really believe that Edo Smith, if I were the Atlanta Falcons, I would just get rid of Edo Smith and just 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 call it a day. All right, just start over. Devontae Freeman will more likely be gone, and I would trade Edo Smith for at least the fifth to seventh round pick. If I can get a fourth round pick for him, so be it. But he's still a young back, so I don't think anyone would give him a four. I don't think the Falcons could get a four. Maybe you can get a five to seventh um, pick for uh, Edo Smith, but I would not bring Edo Smith back. That's just my opinion. Um, this one right here goes out to Joe Yu. Uh, we were plagued with injuries and bad calls, if not more, throughout the season. We lost a new and do not know who stay here next season at the Falcons, but we are Falcons. We are one. This may not be the best season that we've had, but we rise up. Dirty Birds, we got this. Always stay true to your team because this, because that is our team. All right, that's straight facts, man. This is Joe Yu. Um, I like this for the simple fact, dog. Like, yeah, when things go bad, I can understand why Falcons fans are upset i can understand why you want to get rid of every damn body but at the end of the day man football is football you never know what you're gonna get all right this is one of quotes <laughs> it's probably one of quotes for um forrest gump but you just never know what you're gonna get life is definitely like a box of chocolate dog all right it's like a box of chocolate you never know what you're gonna get and when you look at football man um, the past couple of years for the Atlanta Falcons, we know that we have a talented roster. We know that we have coaches who know what they're doing. But chemistry, chemistry is everything. Chemistry is everything. And if you're a fan, like myself, like Joe Yu, and like a lot of you guys who are watching right now, just got to stay positive, dog. It's going to get better. The Atlanta Falcons are not far off from getting back to contending for a championship. Just have to get everything straight. And when you have a Matt Ryan, you have a Julio Jones, anything is possible, okay? When you have a Matt Ryan who is capable still of having yet another MVP season, he's still in the pretty much the prime of his career, um, why not? why not why can't the falcons contend so when you look at it man no everything is not going us uh, going our way this year with injuries ken o'neill out was the torn achilles yet again just so many injuries for the atlanta falcons chris lynchman broke his foot uh caleb mcgarry started off kind of slow um with his his procedure but everything is starting to begin to come together so when you look at it falcons fans Let's stand with this team. Stand as one. Rise up. Put your boy, man. Mike is out, man. Um, but, like I said before, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right? Tell your friends to come chat Falcons football with your boy. All right? Just leave your comments. Leave your comments below. Your questions, anything. And I will make a video just like this. What's your boy, man? Mike is out, man. Peace. Whipping the Prince of Diana. Double cup bling, found her. Oh my, oh God.